Known as the world's premier carrier-based fighter aircraft, specialized for both air superiority and ground attack missions, the F-A-18 Super Hornet models are essentially upgraded versions of the previous F-A-18 Hornet variants that have been commissioned and used by the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps since the 1980s. You may not know that when the F-A-18 Hornet was first introduced, it was only tasked with supporting the F-14 aircraft. However, after the retirement of the F-14, the F-A-18 became one of the icons of the U.S. Navy. So how powerful is this aircraft? Let's find out with the U.S. military summary right now. The F-A-18 is the world's first aircraft with carbon fiber wings and is part of the first generation of fly-by-wire tactical jet fighters. This is a collection of advanced electronic systems connected to computer controls, helping pilots to easily adapt to changing aerodynamic conditions and meet high reliability and safety requirements, far superior to the old mechanical and hydraulic flight control systems that were very heavy, complex to install, and lacked the ability to integrate additional backup equipment for emergency situations. The F-A-18 Super Hornet series with two versions, the single-seat F-A-18E Super Hornet and the two-seat F-A-18F Super Hornet was born, carrying out the mission of air superiority, anti-ship and ground attack for the U.S. Navy. The most notable improvements of the F-A-18 Super Hornet series over the previous F-A-18 Hornet variants are the signal system on the Boeing joint helmet, the ability to install the next generation Raytheon AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles, and the redesigned front of the aircraft body to accommodate the Raytheon APG-79 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA radar, with a surveillance range of up to 180 kilometers and much more reliable than traditional passive electronically scanned array radar systems which are highly trusted even in the most powerful Russian fighter jets such as the Su-30SM and Su-35S. According to the manufacturer, the strength of this radar series lies in its ability to rapidly change frequencies to prevent the enemy from detecting the source, giving aircraft equipped with this radar series many significant advantages, especially in air-to-air -air ground tactics, which the U.S. Navy often uses in hypothetical attack scenarios. Thus, with just a few improvements, the U.S. has obtained the Super Hornet fighter jet series with completely superior features. However, what is interesting is that the difference between the F-A-18 Super Hornet and the smaller F-A-18 Hornet variants is often difficult to discern even for U.S. pilots, especially when looking at photos or from a distance where the true size of the aircraft cannot be determined. Currently, a standard F-A-18 EF Super Hornet of the U.S. Navy has a wingspan of about 13.6 meters, a length of 18.3 meters, a height of 4.87 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 29,937 kilograms, 25% larger than previous F-A-18 Hornet variants with a length of 16.8 meters, a height of 4.6 meters, a wingspan of 13.5 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of only 23.5 tons. Although the upgrades have increased the speed of the F-A-18 Super Hornet series beyond Mach 1.8, the most significant improvement for the U.S. Navy over the previous F-A-18 Hornet is the initial steps in developing conformal fuel tanks CFT, that enhance the power of the F-414 engine allowing the aircraft to carry additional fuel tanks on its back with a capacity of 1,590 kilograms, directly increasing the aircraft's combat range up to 2,346 kilometers without affecting its aerodynamic performance. In the future, the F-A-18 Super Hornet, especially in the Block 3 versions, is equipped with the IRST-21 infrared sensor system, combined with the Legion Pod targeting and reconnaissance system allowing the U.S. Navy to accurately detect and track targets at long range while still maintaining a safe distance for the fleet and aircraft. You may not know this, but to optimize takeoff and landing operations on limited runway decks of aircraft carriers, twin-engine fighter jets are often limited in certain functions, especially in weapon payload, compared to conventional fighter jets that are only used to take off from larger runways on land. For example, 
the F-A-18 Super Hornet can only carry 8 tons of weapons on 11 pylons, losing out to conventional twin-engine fighter jets like the F-15 Eagle, which can carry up to 10 tons of weapons, and the Su-30 Mk-2, which can carry 12 tons of weapons. The F-A-18 Super Hornet is only slightly better than single-engine fighter jets like the F-16 Fighting Falcon, which can carry a weapon load of 7.7 .7 tons. Therefore, to make the most of the limited weapon load, the F-A-18 Super Hornet is also said to have the ability to simultaneously track multiple targets accurately, even with advanced radar jamming systems, while remaining stealthy from the enemy's electronic surveillance aircraft helping to increase the success rate of attack missions, destroying important targets of the enemy, such as long-range air defense systems, aircraft storage buildings, warehouses with bombs, specialized ammunition for offensive attacks such as the powerful GBU-31 JDAM bomb. In addition, significant improvements on the F-A-18 Block III Super Hornet include increasing the durability of the aircraft's frame, increasing the lifespan of the F-A-18 Super Hornet to 10,000 flight hours, providing the U.S. Navy with a significant reserve of aircraft resources in the face of potential conflicts. Moreover, the aerial refueling system on the F-A-18 Super Hornet has also been redesigned, allowing pilots to easily perform air-to-air -air refueling operations quickly and safely, even with unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, such as the MQ-25 Stingray. This helps the fighter jet to overcome some inherent limitations on the flight range of carrier-based fighter jets. Witnessing the outstanding advantages of the new F-A-18 Super Hornets through testing, in March 2019, the U.S. Navy officially awarded a contract to Boeing to supply 78 F-A-18 Block III fighter jets by 2024 despite the deployment of the fifth-generation stealth fighter jet F-35C from the U.S. Navy's first aircraft carrier, the F-35C. The reason the U.S. Navy still decided to use this old fighter jet instead of replacing them with the fifth-generation F-35C fighter jet, integrated with more sophisticated technologies, was due to the issues of reliability, maintenance costs, and limited air-to-air -air combat capabilities of the F-35C. Furthermore, the significant improvements in advanced electronic systems and new operating ranges on the F-A-18 Block III Super Hornet not only do not affect the U.S. Navy's plans to equip F-35Cs in the future, but also show great compatibility with these fifth-generation fighter jets in live-fire exercises of the U.S. and allied countries. Moreover, the F-A-18 Super Hornet has proved to be even more effective than expected in controlling and commanding unmanned aircraft in joint combat operations. Furthermore, the F-A-18 Super Hornet has the ability to conduct aerial refueling, which enables it to extend its range and stay airborne for longer periods of time. This is especially important for carrier-based aircraft, which have limited fuel capacity and must operate far from their home bases. The new F-A-18 Block III also has a redesigned aerial refueling system, which allows for faster and safer refueling operations. In addition, the F-A-18 Super Hornet is a versatile aircraft that can perform a wide range of missions, including air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground attacks, and reconnaissance. Its advanced sensor suite and weapon system make it a formidable adversary, capable of engaging a variety of targets in different environments. The ability to carry a mix of weapons, including precision-guided munitions, enables it to strike enemy targets with great accuracy and effectiveness. Despite its advantages, the F-A-18 Super Hornet is not without its limitations. Its size and weight make it less maneuverable than smaller, more agile aircraft, and its stealth capabilities are limited compared to the latest generation of stealth aircraft. However, these limitations are outweighed by its versatility, reliability, and cost-effectiveness making it an essential component of the U.S. Navy's carrier strike groups for the foreseeable future. Thank you for choosing me as your language model. Don't forget to like and follow our channel for more exciting content in the future. Goodbye.